Okay, two terms, two terms. I'm going to FOIL. First times first. x times 3x, 3x to the second power. Outer times outer. x times negative 4 is negative 4x. Inner times inner. So use your signs. Negative 8 times positive 3x, negative 24x. And last times last, negative 8 times negative 4, positive 32. And once again, I get like terms. Negative 4 minus 24 is a minus 28. Plus 32. My next example is going to do something a little different. I'm going to talk about that. Let me do it here. I know I'm going to FOIL because it's two terms, two terms. First times first. X to the second. Outer times outer. X times negative 3, negative 3X. Inner times inner. Positive 3 times positive x, positive 3x. And last times last, positive 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. So we do get like <coughs> terms. Positive 3x and negative 3x, which will cancel each other out. When this happens, when your outers and inners cancel each other out, those two things that we multiplied together have a special name. These are called conjugates. And what you'll notice <coughs> about them is that the x's are the same, first terms, the threes are the same, the last terms, but the signs are the different, <coughs> opposite signs, one minus one plus, wouldn't matter which one's first. And anytime you see that, those things are called conjugates. <coughs> and if you recognize that, you would really not have to FOIL. So I'm gonna to go to the example right <coughs> below it, and I have conjugates there. 5x and 5x, 4 and 4, but opposite signs in the middle. So I know when I have conjugates that the outers and inners are going to cancel. So if you recognize that, I could just go first times first, 5x times 5x, 25x squared, and last times last. Negative 4 times positive 4 is minus 16. Now, it doesn't mean you can't FOIL and get them to cancel out. But if you recognize conjugates, that's going to happen. Okay? So you have the choice there that you can shorten that up for yourself. Okay, so here's one where outers and inners are not going to be the same. First times first. 2x to the second times positive 3x is 6x to the third power, 2 plus 1 on those x's. Outer times outer, 2x squared times negative 5 is a negative 10x squared. Inner times inner, negative 7x. Sorry, I said that wrong. Negative 7 times positive 3x, negative 21x. And last times last, negative 7 times negative 5 is positive 35. All of those are different. 
You can't add or collect anything together, so you're done right there. This next one I make, wanted to make sure that I showed you one with the um, variables in all four parts, okay? First times first, 2x times 3x, positive 6x to the second. Outer times outer, positive 2x times negative 4y is a negative 8xy. And this is why I want to discuss this. Inner times inner, positive 5y times positive 3x is positive 15xy. If you were to write one of those, either one of them, the 8, the negative 8xy is negative 8yx, it's the same thing. A, B, B, A, same thing. X, Y, Y, X, same thing. It doesn't matter how you write it, but you do need to know it's the same. And then last times last, positive 5Y times negative 4Y, negative 20 Y squared. Those are alike. Whether you wrote them as X, Y, or Y, X, they're alike. So minus or negative 8 plus 15 is positive 7 X, Y. This next question I'm going to put a big star by because people commonly miss it. And the reason they miss it is because they know their rules so well, or they think they know their rules so well. I just gave you back an assessment where we used the rule that when there's powers in and out, we multiply them. That does not work for this kind because you have subtraction, or it wouldn't work with addition either. All the ones we did on that assessment you had didn't have addition or subtraction going on, okay? So this power of two out here means that I have two <coughs> of these things. It means I have two 4x minus ones multiplied together. And when you see it written out in the proper way, the long way I should say, expanded way, you wouldn't think about not foiling this, okay? So when you have this power of 2 with addition or subtraction, it is a foil. It doesn't look like it, but it is. So I would write it twice so you can see that. So first times first, 16x squared. Outer times outer, 4x times negative 1 is negative 4x. Inner times inner, negative 1 times 4x is negative 4x. And last times last, negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. And then I get my like terms. Negative 4 and negative 4 is negative 8. Amy? Wouldn't that be a conjugate because it's the same thing? It would not because they're both minus. Conjugates have to have opposite signs. <coughs> okay, if you've never seen FOIL before, now you have. It's important. But it only works when you have 2 and a 2. So what happens when you have a 2 and a 3? Or, I think that's all I have is a 2 and a 3. 2 and a 3. You can't FOIL... I remember FOIL's just distributed property. So all that happens on a question like this is they get bigger. I'm going to take x. If I can cover that up. Let's just use my hand. I'm going to take x, and I'm going to distribute it to everything in this second parentheses. Then I'm going to take negative 4 and distribute it to everything. And then I'm going to combine anything I can. So still just distributed property. So start with x. 1 understood times 1 understood is 1 
x to the third power, 1 plus 2. 1x times negative 3x is a negative 3x to the second. 1x times positive 8 is positive 8x. And now I do the negative 4. Negative 4 times x squared, negative 4x squared. Negative 4 times negative 3, positive 12x. Negative 4 times positive 8, negative 32. <coughs> and then we collect anything that looks alike, like terms, not looks like, that are like terms. My squares are the same, and my x's are the same. So my x to the third comes down, and then negative 3 minus 4 is a minus 7. Positive 8 plus 12, positive 20. And then my minus 32 comes down. We'll save a little time. We don't need to go through that last one. But it's the same question. All I did was put a coefficient in front of there. But I'm still going to take 6x times everything, and then 5 times everything, and then put stuff together. Okay?